Howdy folks, this is Justro at Metcalf Mills. I'm down here at the Sargum Patch. We're getting ready to strip some cane. I wanted to share a little bit of that with you. About the only thing you need is a pair of gloves, or at least one. If you're right-handed, you need a right glove. I'm gonna show you what I do for stripping cane. Everybody's got their own way, but best way I've ever found to do it is just go through there and do it. I'm gonna show you how. Hope you enjoy it. Now what you do on this stuff, what, well what I do, this is my own way of doing it, but some people may do it different. I just reach up as high as I can and start, just come down the stalk, just like that. And don't leave a blade on it. Don't leave a blade on it. Now this side right here is where I started, but the the record monster button got me, or the record button monster got me, and I, I thought I hit record and it didn't. So you didn't get to see me do this, but believe me, folks, I done it. You can see right here, well, what's something else I wanted to tell you. This particular stock right here, big old nice pretty i mean look at the size of that thing big big stalk got a big old flopping seed head on it up there i'm gonna save that for seed that's gonna be my prime sorghum seed right here you can see what it looks like after you go through here and strip it ground's covered with a bed of fodder now what you do right here I'm gonna show you what I do is start up the top. I just come down with my hand. I don't know if you can see that, if I can record it good enough or not, but what you do is just come down with your hand, just like that, and it strips them off just like that. And I ain't seen nobody yet that could outstrip me, so. Of course, I work by myself a lot. That might have something to do with it too.
I'm gonna put you on a time lapse here and show you how I get with it. Worst wild thing I've done today. Yeah. Alright folks, that's two rows done. And in the meantime, when you wasn't watching, my buddy Billy from Permapasture Farm come by. He's right back there, and we're working on this sorghum. So we're gonna keep trucking along and we'll let you see some results in a little bit. There's a cane patch, it's been stripped. This is the next morning, by the way. Good morning, folks. It's 30 degrees here this morning. I tell you what, I ain't got acclimated to this cold yet, but I'm gonna work on it today. This morning, the high, Virginia said, was 42 here today. I ain't gonna whine too bad. I talked to a buddy up in, I think he's in Minnesota, I think. He said, uh, he sent me a video of the days sowing rye and it was snowing on him and uh, he uh, told me that when I was talking with him back and forth he said it was eight degrees up there so I'm not gonna whine about 30 that'd be a heat wave to them so anyway Billy helped me last night quite a bit and he's coming back down this morning he said so we're gonna get with it get on it look at them heads on that stuff getting ripe. I checked the sugar in this the other day and it was uh, just at the kind of the minimum side for making sorghum. And this cane over here that come up volunteer, the sugar in it is higher. It's more mature. I don't know how much juice they're going to be in it. I'm going to run some and try it and see how much juice it has in it. But... Folks, it's chilly out here this morning. I had to get my little bonnet out, and then I put my little bogging, as we call it, over that. I wanted to support the marsh hen this morning. We support them that support us. We try our best to marsh hen mill down at Edisto Island, South Carolina. Done a lot of business with them. We really appreciate them. But anyway, Billy's on his way down here in a little bit to help some more and uh, tickled to death to have him. We're going to get as much of this cane stripped and I'm going to try to cut as much as we can today. So we're going to get a freeze tonight and you don't want this stuff freezing. If you can get it cut and stack it up, it'll be all right. It's what I've been told. I've never had to do that before. This cold snap has drove me to it. So that's what we're doing. Now these rows are about... Right at 300 foot long. And the way I do this, usually about a thousand row feet makes a run. And that'll yield about a hundred gallons usually. And it'll cook down 10 to one ratio. So you'll have 10 gallons of product. It won't all be syrup. You'll have some foam with that. 
off of a thousand row feet. So there's probably about a run. We got a run stripped yesterday evening. That's one run. I'd say we're gonna have a couple more runs in this patch. And if I try some of this over here, it's probably a little overripe, but the sugar was high, but seemed like a juice was, content was low as far as the amount of juice, but we may try it anyway. And see, run some through the cane mill and see how much juice we get out of it. But we're gonna strip today, hopefully get two more, get all this patch stripped and cut before the freeze. And I'd like to cut a run of that before the freeze to experiment with, so. Now watch this, I'm gonna show you how to call out good morning to the folks that's coming to help you harvest your sorghum. Booga booga! I got it rolling here. We uh -huh. may run into each other, Will. <laughs> <laughs> how are y'all doing We're this morning? We're here to get you caught up, brother. Well. I can't tell you how much I appreciate you. The only thing I don't have is a coffee pot. That's all right. Well, we didn't bring a thermos either. But hey, we're out here to have the great Justin Metcalf show us how to strip sorghum, right? Well, last night you was out running me. I may have to leave the field if I don't start speeding don't it up a little that. bit. <laughs> hey, y'all, the moral to the story is... If you want to see this missing clip right here, you need to go over to Perma Pastures Farm. They made a nice video about helping me with the sorghum. So go check them out. You probably already know them. Folks, for my channel, I'm talking to you now. This is Billy, William, and Michelle. This is Perma Pastures Farm. Come down to help me today, and I can't tell you how glad I am to see them. See this smile? <laughs> we all got hats on. So it's a little yeah. bit cool, but it looks like that big heat tab in the sky might get to us after a while. Them clouds are holding it off. There's a little bit of frost on there, so that's good. Yeah. Maybe. Well, it... That's good. So what? We're going to we find out. All right. Well, we got it stripped. Permapastures Farm come down and helped. We got all that stripped over here on the other side in the volunteer patch. We got a bunch of that stripped. We just kind of walked through and stripped selected some out there was a little bit of lodging we didn't try to fool with that but we got a lot stripped over there too i'd say there's probably about as much over there as they are over here the sugar in this is up around 20 average 18 to 20 and the sugar over here on this that i planted and cultivated is around it's a little 15 16 so it's just barely in range but we're going to get this stuff down before it freezes tonight and make some sweet sorghum syrup. It holds you up itself like beef. <laughs> <laughs> You're good whenever. All right. All right, folks, we've been chopping cane, me and the permapasture family. Right over here, we got a trailer load of that volunteer cane that was over here in the center. And I'm anxious to cook that and see what kind of syrup it makes. We're chopping now in the main patch. And what we're doing to keep this from freezing tonight, we're just chopping it and making a pile on the ground. And then I'm gonna take this fodder that's on the ground and just cover that pile with this fodder that we've stripped off of the cane and just kind of insulate it for the night so that it don't freeze and ruin. And I can't promise you right now that this is gonna work I better not say that till we get finished. They may quit on me, but. <laughs> but we'll find out if it's gonna work. I'm sure it will though, because that pile, it's just gonna be like 28 and that will hurt it that cold, but that pile should be fine in one mass. So what I've always used is just a, <clears throat> a backer knife. And the way this thing works you can cut on the bottom on the pull, or you can chop with it. And it cuts really good, I'll show you. You can hack it off real fast. Normally we'd be loading it on a truck or a trailer to haul to the cane mill. Right now we're just trying to get it cut before the freeze, so we're just gonna cut it and pile it.
Folks, it's the next day down here. We run out of daylight last night, and that time lapse went after dark. Had a lot of help down here. The whole permapasture farm was here helping, as well as a couple other neighbors, John and Danielle. And I just can't tell y'all how much I appreciate you. We got this done and got it on the ground. Just covered it up with fodder. Last night, it was supposed to be colder than what it was, so we covered it up to keep it from freezing the cane. Today, I'm going to get it loaded up on the trailer and take it home and park it and cover it up good tonight. It's supposed to be freezing weather tonight again. Also, up there is another pile, if you can see it right there, another big pile. So, there's at least probably a run here and another run up there, as well as a run we got out of this volunteer cane, too. So, we ought to have three or four runs. But I'm just going to be loading this stuff up. So what I've got here, I've made me like a, a pallet of sorts on this trailer to keep the cane up off of the trailer so it can get airflow under there and it won't sweat. And what I'm doing right here is I'm cutting the good big seed heads off. Now any big old stalks of cane I come through while I'm loading this, I'll pitch them to the side and when we're done, I'll cut all those heads off for my seed. I'm just gonna keep loading and load this trailer up. I got her all loaded up. You can see there what a load of cane. I mean, that's a load of cane. There's probably at least two runs there. All right, folks, we'll have a cooking video coming out pretty soon. Looking forward to sharing that with you. Hope y'all are having a great day. I want to give a big holler out again to Permapastures Farm and John and Danielle for all their help getting this sargum in. So we appreciate them very much. Friends are priceless. Hit that like button if you will. Subscribe if you ain't already. Tell your friends about me. And remember, there's a lot of good in you. And when you got something good, you're supposed to share it. So wherever you go, let that kindness light shine and keep handing out the sunshine. This is the Justro at Metcalf Mills. I look forward to seeing y'all next time.